hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel travel free in today's video i'm going to explain you about virus so what is virus and what are the different threats related to virus and what are the countermeasures that you can take all these things i will explain in this video okay so first let us start what is virus virus is a software or you can say a piece of code which is written in order to change the way a computer operates and spread from one computer to another so it is a software or a piece of code why a vi why that code is written in order to change the functionality or the operability of the computer and that also spreads from one computer to another computer for example in your computer you will be having camera or you will be having calculator so what is the function of a calculator to do calculations what is the function of camera in order to pack cap capture pictures or video calls and all but if camera is not working properly instead of doing clicking pictures or instead of uh, using it for video call it is doing something else then it has a virus same with the calculator as well so what is the actual function instead of doing that it is doing something else then a virus is infected okay and how do you identify the virus so first is in increased response time for example you are opening an application then it has to open within 10 seconds or 30 seconds max but more more time if it is taking it means some virus is there response time is increasing next is unwanted pop ups you will be getting all unwanted pop ups always you will be getting so that is no no way related to you but you will be getting it and unwanted links will open so particularly when you are using some websites to download movies automatically some unwanted links will be opening in the new tab right so that and drivers will not work so drivers different drivers we have in our computer right so any of that driver or all the drivers may not work properly okay next is impact of virus so how a virus can affect you what a virus can do to your system data loss our data can be lost our contacts or photos or movies or any files they can be lost and programs are corrupted Pro that is why if programs are corrupted only then the functionality will change right next loss of control on our system on our system we will be losing our control so what is happening in our, in our system will not be in our control you are clicking something with the mouse but something is happening like that okay yeah so now let us see what are the related threats and how what are the counter measures and what to do so first the related threats to virus are worms and trojan horses worms and trojan horses are also similar to virus like they will also affect our system they will also disturb the functionality of our system how let us see how worms and trojans are different from virus let us see so basically worm is nothing but it is also like virus it will replicate replicate in the sense if suppose one virus for same like corona virus if at, if one unit of virus has entered our body it will replicate that is it will multiply by itself and so many virus particles will be produced in our body right so the same way with worms also so many particles will be generated so worms like virus they will also replicate but they will not change the pro uh, functionality or they will not change the program written it will just uh, slow down the functionality so what virus is doing it will change the way in which the computer operates right virus what virus is doing suppose if suppose if you are clicking 1 plus 2 instead of adding 1 and 2 it will subtract 1 and 2 that is what virus does but worms will not change the functionality suppose if you are clicking 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 only will be done but that will happen slowly okay it will just slow down the functionality of the system it will not change the functionality of the system got it you got to know what is a worm now now let us see what is a trojan horse what is the difference now a trojan horse is nothing but it will not replicate like worms or virus that is if once it is entered into our system it will not replicate like worms or virus worms will replicate virus will rep replicate sorry right but it will not hidden piece of code it is a hidden piece of code which will steal the important information the important information which is present in our system is stolen that is the that is what the trojan horse will do what virus will do it will replicate and also it will change the functionality right what worm will do it will also replicate but it will 
slow down the functionality what trojan horse is doing it is not replicating and it is what it is doing it is stealing the important information got it now what are the counter measures to it let us see so uh, moving to the counter measures prevention prevention is always better than cure we say right in science we have this so prevention is always the better the best solution but prevention is difficult you cannot just sit uh, like you know you cannot sit like a security guard right to uh, monitor what traffic is coming into your system right so prevention is only the best solution for this but it is a bit difficult got it so in order to prevent it what you can do is you can use antivirus systems antivirus systems okay and these counter measures are not only for trojan horse it is for all virus worms and trojan horse okay so you can use some antivirus systems in order to prevent them even if we use antivirus systems also sometimes some virus will enter into our system but still we have to use detection so detection is nothing but you need to first detect whether the virus or, or whether the worm is present in your system or not whether it is present to your in your system or not if you detect it then you can start working in order to remove it right you must be able to detect it next comes the identification identification in the sense what is the difference between identification and detection then detection means you will just detect whether the virus is present in your system or not whereas identification what it will do in which part or in which area the virus has infected okay in which area the virus has affected hard disk or memory or um, you know input devices or output devices or whatever it is remote devices whatever it is where the infection has happened where did the virus attack the system okay next comes the removal or replacement of code so removal or replacement of code removal of code is not possible if you completely remove the code then you cannot do that functionality again right so instead of removal of code what you can do you can replace the complete code or software with a new one uh, it can be code or software or it can be application whatever it is okay so if you can remove it that is if you are removing it and there is no major impact then you can remove it if suppose if you are removing it and you are having some major problems then in that case you can just simply replace the code or application or software which is infected with the virus okay this is about virus its related threats and the countermeasures so virus means you need to write about virus and related threats means worms and trojan horses and countermeasure me measures means these things okay in the next video let's meet up with the new an another concept which is about firewalls okay so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section